Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to a fat <clears throat> hey YouTube Lumbers post 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video series of videos where I take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street mouth has gone will I ever be able to reverse the irreparable damage I've done to my brain <laughs> for salivating over frozen food because of this series of videos probably not so I'm just looking at my dog she's having um, a batshit insane retarded zoomy moment Oh well, we live, we learn. Apologies about the light in here, but obviously you know my thoughts on weak a uh, weak ass fucking green light bulbs. And also if you watch this series of videos and my window rants, then you know my thoughts on all the gullible fucktards who actually believe in man-made climate change. But I'm dying. I digress. What do I have to eat this week? Well, we are in March now, which is obviously spring, as I mentioned last week. But what that means is basically all the supermarkets start to break out their summer range. And Tesco is no exception. And oh, I can smell them through the bag and they smell delish. They broke out their fire range, their fire range, their um, summer range, which is basically fire pit. So obviously it's barbecue food. I, they have form in this because uh, while this is broken out for the summer, the sauces in the fire pit range are all year round and um, I have their habanero relish from a previous purchase which is a three chilli rating which granted is a little generous for what this is but it's pretty pretty banging but when I'm dying, when I was in there last week, uh, for these who have been sat in my freezer slowly fossilizing and sinking to the depths, uh, I came across the fire pit exclusively at Tesco's. I'm assuming it's not another brand, it's just Tesco's. Um, hot and spicy chicken wings. So obviously I've never had these, I have to try them hot and spicy chicken wings. It's the law. Um, there is no, as with the, you know, generally with most of these, there is no actual heat um, rating on the bag. But that's not to say that they might not be banging because I've had a few of supermarket Morrison's basically. Their hot wings were actually hot. Dying here. Now, can't remember how much these were because I didn't get a receipt. But I want to say uh, they were probably three pounds. Three pounds and change? Not sure. They're pretty, pretty big, pretty hefty. Um, they are 800 grams. So I'm going to go here with three pounds and change because 800 grams is pretty, pretty decent. Now, obviously, I don't generally get out of bed for anything less than a three chili rating. But hot wings is hot wings and that's the law. Now, uh, cook instructions. Don't give a shit. Going to cook these in my air fryer. I mean, obviously, it says... Um, 180 degrees uh, Celsius, but we care not for the Fahrenheit. Do you know who else doesn't care for the Fahrenheit? That's right, Robert. Robert says hello. Hello. Um, 20, 25 to, f fuck off. 35 to 40 minutes from, from frozen, 180 degrees Celsius. Bollocks to that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do them for 15 minutes aside then in the air fryer. I mean, it's smaller, so it's concentrated. Uh, concentrated heat, so generally, obviously, it's quicker than, you know, firing up Old Faithful back there. But 40 minutes for a fucking chicken wing from Frozen? Oh shit, I cool. Now, I would read you the ingredients, but... Uh, or I can read them, it's just it's white and black, which is not the worst I've ever read, but it's like they hide the ingredients, you know, with shit fonts and shit colour, but... Basically, chicken wings, 95%. Good start. I fail there. I would cocoa at least. Um, second ingredient, caster sugar. I shit you not. Right, I'm just scanning through. Uh, spices, just, just spices, nothing else. Spices, third ingredient. Um, and then cayenne pepper, uh, paprika extract. That's it. It's right down there. So cayenne pepper, paprika extract. Uh, and spices and caster sugar. 
that's the ingredients for these bad boys. So yeah, I'm gonna do them at 15 minutes aside in the air fryer, but obviously I will be checking them because it cook, cooks uh, quicker than that beast. Would help if I plugged it in. Anyway, do I have anything in Crisp Corner this week? It's a little bit underwhelming, but if you watch this series of videos, you know that I have discovered that the knockoff supermarket soft drinks are quite often better than the regular branded soft drinks. For example, as I said last week, Tesco's um, Lemon and Lime Zero, catchy name, I know, is so much nicer than Sprite, and let's be honest, my piss is nicer than 7up, but anyway, so I've decided to go on a quest to see what other stuff is knockoff is better than the actual brand. So I have, from Iceland, uh, these were, they were less than a quid, I wanna say 75p. I have Poptastic, yeah? Oh my God, Harry Enfield. Poptastic, Poptastic um, potato crisps. Plus also, I just like the fact that the tub's fucking bulletproof. Like if you, this got into a fight with Pringles, then it would absolutely kick its ass. The other thing I had, cause I was at Lidl just now buying a greenhouse for my mum. And then one knows me knows I absolutely love prawn cocktail flavour skips. Uh, but, the poetry honest, I just fucking love anything prawn cocktail flavour. But I've noticed that no one can actually do a knockoff skip that's better than a regular skip. So I decided to see if um, Audi, the little 60p, can do a knockoff skip that's better than a regular skip. I'd let you know how I got on, but let's be honest, I'd probably forget. Do I have anything new in Eddie's bar? I do, it was something I got last week, but I forgot to tell you, because I was so excited for my window rounds. Anyway, welcome to Eddie's bar. Apparently I have a light on this. Who knew? Anyhow, right, so also apologies for the boiler clock. Oh wait, not sorry. Um, yeah, so I forgot to mention that last week I got this from B&M. I have the spice. Can't read that too small. Um, air fry, southern fry, southern fry seasoning. Now, anyone who knows me knows that doing chips in your air fryer, fries if you will, dependent upon where you are from, is basically the best way to go. It is the future of the potato snack. And dry seasoning them is absolutely amazing. And I'm quite partial to southern fried, even though it's not hot. Now, obviously I have quite a few in the dry seasoning family. To prove a point because like i said this stuff is absolutely amazing this is the same company as that and this is chip shop chip and potato seasoning it's basically like chip shop curry it's fantastic but since that's so good i thought i've got to give the other one a go and the other one a go i shall give indeed um yeah so this is like 75p in b and i'm telling you right if you have an air fryer dry season your chips it's so good anyway Let's have a look at the weather. As you can see, it's starting to get dark out of there. We haven't put our clocks back yet, have we? Uh, I, North America has. I wish we'd just leave them on the same fucking time all year round. I am aware that I say that every year. It's about 15 degrees out there. I'm not a fan. It rained yesterday, like most of the day, which I was a fan of, even though I was out and about in it. But yeah, it's not raining today, and I don't think it's going to rain tomorrow, which makes me very, very unhappy. But interesting things that happened in the news this week and by interesting i mean things that just quite literally shows you how fucking retarded the legacy news media in this country is and quite frankly what's wrong with fucking people for making this article run and run and run when there are two fucking wars going on in the world at the moment granted one of them is an american produced proxy war so their arms industry can make a massive amount of money but that's not the point so and also i am not defending the royal family. Anyone who watches this series of videos knows that I fucking loathe the royal family. They're taxpayer funded scabs who should be self sufficient, but they are not. And I hate the fact that they walk around and the media bigs them up for this, basically saying, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. All look at me and wonder and appreciate my fucking life. Fuck off. Anyway, the point is, last Sunday was Mother's Sunday, uh, and Kate Middleton put a picture up of her with her kid. You're not supposed to put a picture of yourself up on Mothering Sunday, Middleton. That's a bit fucking arrogant. But the point is, she put a picture up, and then the news agencies all dropped it, so we can't run with this, because she photoshopped it. And... Big fucking deal. She photoshopped her pictures, but the news industries couldn't, uh, agencies couldn't run with it because it was there for a fake and a photoshop. And the point of that is, this made the front pages for three 
fucking days. And for two of those days, it took up the first quarter of the fucking newspaper. And it was all over the fucking news. Sky News, fucking BBC. Well, BBC, you can't say the word BBC and the word news in the same sentence when you talk to, like, fucking BBC. But the point is, like I said, fucking Ukraine, fucking Gaza. You know, on top of that, people are getting stabbed, shot, murdered. You know, the world's going to fucking shit everywhere. But all that was on the news was Kate Middleton photoshopped a fucking picture. If this is not a damning indignation of how fucking stupid people are and how fucking stupid the news media is globally, in fact, because let's be honest, this was all over the internet, then I don't fucking know what would be. It just, it just boggles the mind. Like, how is that newsworthy? She fucking photoshopped a picture for Mothering Sunday and it took over the entire news for an entire week. Anyway, <laughs> Back to these bad boys. Right, better break out the air fryer. I'm going to stick it on 200 degrees Celsius for a kettle for the Fahrenheit. Fuck that 180 degrees Celsius bullshit. I'm not waiting 40 minutes for these. I do have somewhere, in fact, I think, sure, I've never used them, a reusable air fryer liner. I think it's just so you don't have to clean it. I don't think it actually provides any sort of purpose. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's not even sealed. Um, like to, I don't know, to improve the cooking, improve the marination or anything like that. But fuck it, I've never used them, so let's put that bad boy in shot. You see that? Can you see that? Now, you can smell these through the bag. It's funny, but does anyone remember like a couple of years ago when some uh, cop rumble in the comment section said, can't smell it through the bag? Because A, it's a sealed bag, and B, it's frozen. Well, obviously that dick had no sense of smell whatsoever, but yes, you can. Look it up. There's a scientific name for it and everything. Because even though this is plastic, it still breathes. Permeable? Is that the phrase I'm looking for? Don't know. Right. Like I said. Whoo. Oh. Well, I'm dead now. I'm fucking dying. Um. Oh, and the little wings. Actually, that's pretty good. If they're all little wings like that, and there's 800 grams of them, I am sold. Right, this is my genuine tea. So, is that one? No, that's two. Oh, I want little wings. Little wings are the best. I know people say, but you don't get as much meat on them, but just eating them is just a delight. Apologies if you could hear my dog barking. She's just been in the garden, and when you let my dog in the garden, it resets her batshit insanity chip and then she's off her face on fucking endorphins and adrenaline for like the next hour plus she's a puppy so she just wants to play all the time right three six nine ten i can only fit ten in here they're not as small as i thought they would be better wash my hands i am wearing the world's greatest t-shirt ever done that like you're not impressed right so let's bang these in it is uh 25 past five so i'm gonna do them for 15 12 minutes let's call it 12 and a half minutes shall we um i'm not sure why i like to adapt to the uh, process of these things so much but bollocks to it clock no stopwatch hosh right so in you go 200 degrees celsius and just stick the timer to max because as i told you it is not accurate so i'm gonna fuck off next door and watch great continental railway journeys um and i'll see you in a bit right so coming up to 15 minutes so fuck it i guess it's 15 minutes a side now smelling it also that's not mine that's not a backup it's not like i'm doing the other half of the bag <laughs> in the oven um but someone else selflessly um cooking while i'm doing my cooking show anyway uh the smell in here now they smell quite pokey when i say pokey um, they smell like regular, you know, non-chili rated uh, frozen chicken wings from a supermarket. But there was a, a level of poke on them, and it, obviously clearly there was because you could smell them through the back. Dying here. Uh, they smell fantastic. They smell like chicken wings. However, now that I'm in here and they've been cooking for 15 minutes, um, the, the level of poke in the air, the smell, if you will, seems to have dissipated somewhat, which I don't know if I should be worried about. But... I don't know if you can see that, so I'm definitely going to do them for half an hour because I like my chicken wings to be crispy. 
uh, very crispy on the outside, even with a little bit of burn, if you will. It's not for everyone's taste, I am aware of that, but it's just how I roll. So, let's turn these fuckers over without burning myself horrifically, and I came so close to touching my shirt then. Right. Ow! <laughs> this is when I come to power, I will have my servants do this, because... Yoink! My fingers are fucking delicate. Uh, you as well. I did you. I didn't do you. It's just like college. <laughs> I didn't do you. I did you. But I didn't do you. <laughs> and I didn't do you. It'd be very interesting because it says reusable for the air fryer filter, but I'm assuming it doesn't mean stick shit on it with a marinade. Anyway, so there's the underside of these bad boys. Did I get away with it? I think I got away with it. Uh, so, and we're going to do it for another 15 minutes because it said 30 um, to 35 to 40 minutes. Fuck it. Um, yeah, 30 minutes. Because it's an air fryer. Like I said, I'm doing it at 23 Celsius, 4 gallon for the Fahrenheit, above the regular heat. And as I always say, I mean, let me know what your experience is, that when you do it in an air fryer, because it's such a small confined area, it, I think I'm just saying this to talk food poisoning out of my mind. Um, it Generally, you can knock some of the cooking time off. Anyway, I've given up on Great Continental Railway Journeys, mainly because it's one I've seen. And I'm on Rick Stein now, so see you in a bit. Um, 29 and a bit minutes. That's as much as I can wait, as I am absolutely ravenous. I have to say, as I did say at the halfway stage, that I'm still dying though. There is a complete lack of smell of heat in here. They just smell like regular chicken wings at this point. But. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to reuse this liner. You're going to get a liner? Possibly don't do marinated chicken wings with it. Might have to let these cool for a little bit as well. I've made my napkins. Making your own napkins is not just good for the environment, uh, but it's therapeutic. Oh wait, I don't give a fuck about the environment. Uh, I'm going to bring you over. Let's get these bad boys out and see if I can do it without frying my fingers. That's the best I can do for light. Can I get that one over here? Is that better? Is that better? There you go. There you go. Turns out, my really shit lights, at least you can move them. Let's get these bad boys out. As you can see, they're fucking hot. They've come up really rather quite crispy. There is still marinade on them. It just ha 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 doesn't smell um, of anything particularly hot. And I mean, I know there wasn't a chili rating on the bag, but the point is, you can't, still can't go around chucking the phrase uh, hot and spicy if you uh, don't make them hot and spicy. And also, like I said, many, many previous times, I am aware I'm repeating myself, um, Iceland's uh, non-chili rated hot and spicy um, chicken wings. I am aware that they obviously do a load of chicken wings that have like between three and five chili rating. But, and they do still do the Carolina Reaper ones, um, which you can argue means all other chicken wings are obsolete in Iceland. Um, but their regular ones are still pretty hot. You know, not massively hot, but there is heat in them. Right. This, I think... Um, yeah, that's, that's going in the bin. Because I'm still going to have to wash the bottom of the... Uh, the um, pan, which obviously I'm going to do right now because my OC levels will not let me leave it. Problem with moving these bad boys is I've obviously completely fucked up what little light there is in here. Anyhow, let's have a look at these bad boys. Now you're probably thinking they look quite burnt. No, 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 no. It's fucking annoying. This is really fucking annoying. It's how I like my chicken wings. Look at them, look at them. So anyway, Let's get into these bad boys. Let's start with a small one. Like I said, these are the best ones to eat. I'm still salivating like a fucking Pavlov's dog. But two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. I'll tell you what. Ooh. There's a little lash of heat. Actually, that's quite surprising. 
but they're really, really crispy on the outside, possibly because of how I cook them. The skin. There's no fat on them whatsoever, because I find it fat. Like cheap chicken wings, there's definitely a lash going on. Um, when you get fat on them, they're fucking horrible. I've thrown many away simply because I can't do fat on my chicken wings. Um, but the, there's no fat on them. The chicken's really succulent, really lean. These are really nice chicken wings. Obviously, excuse me, pick. Once you get to the inside, then obviously there's no heat whatsoever because all the heat's in the marinade and the skin. But, <clears throat> Ooh, what have I got? Fire extinguisher of choice. Since I am obsessed with trying the knockoff versions of everything now and the um, knockoff lemon and lime, I'll tell you what, there's a little bit of punch with them which I don't have any left of, annoyingly. Uh, uh, Tesco's knockoff lemon and lime zero um, is fantastic. I thought I'd try uh, Audi's lemon and lime zero sugar. Uh, clearly, I mean, if you look at the packaging, it's clearly their knockoff Sprite, but have you ever seen such, it looks like someone knocked it up in um, paint, <laughs> in windows. Look at it, look at, look at the pictures. Anyway, power cleanse. That's not bad. Windy pops. Oh, windy pops. That really isn't too bad. I don't think it's quite as nice as Tesco's, but it's, well, everything's, as I said earlier on, my piss is nicer than um, 7 Up Zero. Um, but it's nicer than Sprite. When, why does, when your knockoffs are better than your regular product, the regular product, you need to sit down and reevaluate your life. Anyway. <clears throat> Going in for a second reading. Right, there's a tiny little tickle across the back of my throat. There's a little tickle on the backs of my lips and there's a little tickle on the end of my tongue. Um, I can feel heat. Obviously, it's not up there with anything, you know, any of the other, like the Iceland branded ones, um, you know, anything with a chili rain. Um, it's pretty much on par, just from one wing mind, with Iceland's non, you know, chili rated um, ice, standard party uh, chicken wings, basically. But, yeah, two tears in the bucket, second reading, fuck it. I am absolutely loving the fact that they are so lean. Apologies, boy, the clock. Oh, wait, bro, sorry. These are amazing. See, I've said many times, I love me some heat. but not at the expense of flavour. It's a balance. However, they are by no means nuclear. I reckon if you add to that plate, I might feel it a little bit, because it's definitely creeping up on me, but like I said, it's by no means nuclear, but it's a perfect balance. It's a perfect trade-off. I would say that these are good barbecue wings. Um, Certainly, you know, if you're having an event for people who don't have a massive tolerance of heat, but you have to have hot wings at a barbecue. But yeah, um, Tesco's Fire Pit Hot Spicy Chicken Wings. I'll oh, fuck that up. They're all right. I definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. Yeah. Anyway, as always, I love to not think, especially if you've tried these. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.